Hi, everybody. Welcome. I am very proud to be here today to sign House Bill. Can you hear me? I am very proud to be here today to sign House Bill 168, the Stolen Valor Act, uh, into law. Uh, this bill, let me just give you a little background. This bill will make it uh, a crime to impersonate a soldier, to impersonate a veteran of the armed forces, or a recipient of a service medal or decoration in order to gain access to benefits, resources, job opportunities that we set aside specifically for veterans or people who have served. The legislation is really important. Right here in Pennsylvania, we have the fourth largest veteran population, 900,000, actually over 900,000 people. One out of every 12 Pennsylvanians uh, is a veteran. In our Commonwealth, in our country, we have set aside, as you know, uh, certain benefits, certain resources, job opportunities for our service members so that we as a society can pay in some small way uh, the gratitude that we owe to our servicemen and women and our veterans for the sacrifice that they've made on our behalf. For someone to fraudulently present themselves as worthy of the benefits of, you know, and the gratitude that the men and women of the armed forces have earned, that's really inexcusable. It's actually offensive to the memories of our veterans and it should be offensive to everybody uh, in Pennsylvania. So that's why I think this legislation is so important. We must make sure that in Pennsylvania we're doing all we can to protect the benefits and resources we set aside for our veterans and service members so that they are never compromised and that those benefits are not sent to people who are not deserving. The penalties for this action that we sign into law today will make people think twice, the hope is, before deciding to attempt fraudulently to gain some of those benefits for themselves. We owe an enormous debt of gratitude to our veterans and members of the armed services. They protect us, they serve us, they keep us safe. They don't blink in the face of danger and they're prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice to safeguard our way of life. They do all of this without expectation of reward or recognition and there's really no way that we can repay the debt that we owe them. But through actions including safeguarding the benefits, the things that we do for them, uh, things that we're, we're actually trying to protect with the Stolen Valor Act, we can show our appreciation for what they do and for we can play a small part in, in showing that gratitude. So let me just, while I'm here, let me just take the, the opportunity to say that the Department of Military and Veterans Affairs, the DMVA, uh, we are doing a lot of things to try to, to make sure that we are uh, trying to say thanks uh, in concrete ways to our veterans. Um, our programs aim to co connect veterans with all the services, care, program options they need in one place, the DMVA. Again, we know that we can't repay the debt that we owe, but through our work to support veterans and their families back home, we can show them the gratitude they deserve and have earned. So I want to thank every Pennsylvania service member and veteran for their service to our community, to our commonwealth, and to our country. And I pledge that we're going to continue to do all we can to provide you, the veteran, with all the benefits and resources you have earned. We'll stop those who decide selfishly to attempt to benefit from the work that you've done. So let me just thank Senator Tony Williams isn't here. He was the one who first introduced the legislation that Representative Rick Saccone's amendment uh, was passed unanimously by both chambers. Uh, but both Tony and Representative Saccone for your really good work in getting this important legislation passed. Chris Sinato is also a prime uh, co-sponsor. What did I miss? Steve, Steve you were prime co-sponsor too. Yes. So all three of these folks really deserve our thanks for, for actually trying to protect uh, our, our veterans and service members. So thank you very much for, for your, your support and for your hard work on this and leadership. Now, I will take questions on topic from the podium. Then I'm going to go over and sign the bill with Chris and Rick next to me. Steve, we'll make, oh, you can stand there too. And then uh, uh, I will take off topic questions in a gaggle off on the side afterward. Are there any questions on this bill? Yes, Dennis. Well, you might answer that one is too many. Do you have a, a sense of how big of a problem is this of people stealing power? I, I mean, it, it's, it's a big enough problem that we, we, we want to, uh, I'm actually not sure how big the problem is. 
but the, the, the issue is if, if it happens once, that's a big problem. Because no one should feel empowered to, to actually come and claim there's someone they're not, especially when it comes to claiming that there's someone who actually offered to lay their life down for, for us. That's, that seems to me the, the height of arrogance uh, and hypocrisy. So, so if it happens once, that's too often. I don't, I don't know, Rick, do you have the numbers to how often this happens? I don't have all the numbers, but we've had a number of cases in Pennsylvania. We had one in Berks County. We've had a couple across the state where people representing themselves as veterans have raised money or have used their veteran status to try to gain advantage, and they were caught on it and called on it. And uh, so it has happened here in Pennsylvania, and, and as the governor said, uh, this bill will hopefully be a deterrent now that people know that we're, we're out there looking for them and uh, there's, there is a penalty for that. Yeah. It, it makes it a third-class misdemeanor. No, I can't. Can you put that yeah, in? Yeah, third-class misdemeanor, I think it's up to $1,000, less than, less than a year in jail, I believe. I have to, I have to check that. Anything else? Okay. I'm going to go sign the bill, and I have some pens here, and then I'll take questions off topic over here. Okay, look straight ahead. Steve's going to sit down. Okay, okay. Steve. This is always interesting. Can you where to look? Did we get you? We're all looking very close. Look at you. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah, thank you.